Hi, I am Dr. Frank A. Thomas, and it is my great, great, great privilege to share with you across this digital platform just a piece and a bit of the history of African-American preaching. Last time, we talked about the huge movement in the 19th century of African-Americans to Christianity. I want to continue that discussion by suggesting to you that after being evangelized, black Christians were included as second-class citizens in white congregations or branched out and formed their own. Free blacks in the North founded African-American denominations while large congregations in the South existed composed of largely enslaved blacks. The common denominator was that black preachers preached in all these expressions of the church. Starting with the invisible institution, black preachers and black preaching existed and so did the division between folk preaching and intellectual preaching highly influenced by freedom related to geography and social status. Blacks formed their own churches, starting with Richard Allen. In the North, blacks in the South were still a part of white churches. But in any regard, black preaching was prominent. Black preaching was open, was healing, was liberative, and most of all, it was contextual. It considered the condition of the people to whom the preacher preached, and the preacher uplifted and encouraged the people in the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is our history as African-American preachers. I thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. And please don't forget that each and every Monday we do a Periscope live broadcast, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Twice a week we release videos in this series on African-American preaching. And finally, each and every week we upload spiritual vitamins to SoundCloud. We want to make sure that you will subscribe to each of these platforms. And I know you want to get as fast as you can this powerful information that's coming forth. So sign up. God bless you. And thank you so much for watching.